All right, welcome to my video. I am taking my first foray into commenting on a uh, video I put together. This is the Buckhorn South Course, the green course at Stony Creek Metro Park. Uh, hole one is a 355 foot, pretty much straight through the gap there ahead, uh, slight fade at the end. Um, I threw an opto culver in. I was hoping to get a little bit lower on it. Um, I didn't like it. I figured I was actually a lot further left than what I am right here. But I'm looking at about a 25 footer or so, just a slight straddle out uh, for my two. Unfortunately, was a little too much on the right hand side. Um, I think I might have hit that big tree right there and that kind of dropped me, so it saved me from being a little bit more into the bushes. Um, but overall, not too unhappy with walking away with the three. Um, you can get some pretty big numbers on this hole if you're not careful and not focused right out the gate. So we're on to hole two. Hole two, 257 feet. Another one that's pretty much dead straight. Um, I'm going with a gold line mercy here going up the gut. There is a large hyzer play around the uh, trees on the right hand side. Um, I wasn't feeling it today. The wind was actually coming left to right. So I actually had a tailwind on a hole one and that tends to push things down into those trees. So went straight up the gut, uh, was a little high release again. Um, not too bad though, managed to get into circle one. Uh, I think I'm looking at about 18 footer or so. Cashed in. So good start, one under par for uh, two holes. Hole three, as you can see, throwing a uh, an Opto Pioneer. Um, this is a button hook hole. The hole kind of plays back on itself. It's 184 feet. Um, forehand is the ideal shot. Um, I'm actually trying to get in front of those two trees right there in the middle, and I was a little bit left thought I might skip through instead I skipped right into the trees um, it bumped me forward and to the left though so I actually had a little bit of a look um, unfortunately I put my cart and my my, uh, my camera in like the worst spot um, so it's tough for you guys to see where the basket actually is it's right over my watch right now so I gave it a run um, albeit a pretty safe run um, this hole has a slight slope behind the basket and uh, you can scuttle down into that rough that's back there pretty easily and find yourself with a uh, 25 30 foot putt out of nowhere so taking a three on here is pretty good uh, again this is a hole that can get squirrely really really fast so walking off of the par not a bad thing hole four is a uh, sharp dog leg left we're looking at 472 feet Going Pioneer off the tee again, looking to just get around this corner and get myself a nice flare skip. Um, it's only about maybe 250 feet or so to get around this corner. Um, I'm very happy with this position. I, I would love to be in front of this tree, but being on the right side is the better side as opposed to the left side. Uh, so just lining up a Retro Mercy, looking to just kind of elevator shot, a, uh, an approach up there. Gave myself a nice look for about a uh, 11, 12 footer par birdie um, on U disc. This is actually listed as a par four. It's kind of a three and a half. It's not quite long enough to be a really good par four, but it does take at least two shots to get you to the basket. So it is what it is. Hole five is a shorty. Uh, it's about 165 feet. There is a just a play it straight up the gut kind of thing. Um, but there's a lot of branches that kind of reach out. I like to go with a grenade for uh, my shot with a trident. Um, just kind of pump it up there. There's only really one branch that I have to worry about. And I actually put it left enough this time that it never came into play. And walked up, found myself parked for a nice little like 10 footer. Done deal. If that, might have been 7 feet. So looking good now. Couple birdies, couple pars. 
Hole six, it's 221 feet. Uh, it's a carry over a swamp. Uh, you only got to get about maybe 180 or so to get over the swamp uh, safely. I went with my Cenus SP on a slight Anheuser release. Um, I used to go a little bit more straight at this one, but the right side's kind of growing up and growing into that line a little bit. So I've started to throw a slight Anheuser at this and let the Cenus fade itself back out. Looks like I did a pretty solid job on this go around. Looking at another circle one, probably about a 12 footer maybe. Um, don't know who put that towel there, but pick up after yourselves, people. Hole six is the first like really challenging hole. I'm sorry, hole seven. Uh, it's 533 feet. Um, it's going downhill, slightly right, and then straightens itself out and then comes back up a hill. Normally, I would just play a little putter shot to get myself into position. I decided to go with the hatchet this time, try to hyzer flip on the left-hand side and let it slide down the hill. I went too early, went nose up, it didn't turn, it caught a tree, and I find myself sitting back here. Uh, normally my putter shot would look to line up just about with that short tee pad there. So I went with my fuse, I was trying to just, uh, first of all, miss the tee sign, complete. Second of all, keep it going straight, not so much. Um, little too much power on it, it kind of tailed off to the right a little bit more than what I wanted to. So I'm looking at a uh, about maybe a 120 foot approach shot here with my gold, uh, I'm sorry, retro mercy. Just a little flick of the wrist, kind of maybe a little half run if I feel like it. And unfortunately I did not commit. Uh, came out really out of my hand. I got lucky that I missed the branches that were on that tree over there But being early and being high I definitely faded off into the tree line a little bit So funny thing with this you will notice when I go to pick up my disc that I had tossed it away already and I actually already made this putt once um, I made the putt went back Realized my phone was no longer recording. So I had to go back and hit the putt again, which I did. So you can see a little foot fist pump on that one. I would have been really, really bummed had I not made that putt at least another time to film it. So I'm walking away with a four, which you just list this uh, hole as a par four. So it is, it's pretty much a par four. Hole 8, it's 456 feet, uh, I'm staring right into the sun here, I'm going with my Opto Halo, I just wanted to do a little bit of a hyzer flip and get around the right side of these trees and um, straighten myself out. I went a little wide on it, um, but it wound up in a pretty solid spot, um, pretty much right in the middle of the fairway. Uh, I zoomed in on this one because I had a pretty good feeling about it. Um, I've run this basket a few times before, so I figured I'll zoom it and see what happens. Just off the outside chains. So, so close. But stress-free, easy peasy threesy. Just get that little tap in there and I'll be on my way to hole nine. Hole nine, it's only 282 feet, but it is uphill. It pr plays probably about 350. I'm throwing into a headwind here. Uh, I went with the Opto Pioneer. Um, did not get it low enough. It was a little bit up in the air, so I definitely faded out more than what I wanted to. Um, setting up here at probably about 40 feet, maybe 38 feet, uh, somewhere around that. So slightly outside circle two or circle one. Um, got a pretty strong wind blowing left to right here. Um, I'm not putting with my Mercy. I actually switched to the Slammer for this. I wanted that to fight and fade in. And unfortunately, just a little bit too much power. Uh, so never really had enough time to, or didn't fade back fast enough. Um, 
Not too bad, though. I think I only wound up like six feet away, so it wasn't anything major. Walking away with another par. Should have had that one. Not all that happy about that putt. Hole 10. 451 feet. It's downhill. Uh, basket is off on the right-hand side. I'm throwing a gold line burst ballista pro. Firing off that on a forehand. Got a nice early little flex out of it. Faded off into the right-hand side. Inside circle one. Probably about a 12-footer. So very happy with that. Card myself a nice birdie. Hole 11, it's 548 feet. It's under the PDJ standards for a par four, but it definitely is a par four in Michigan, though we do rate everything as par threes. We don't like to play par out holes. So it's uphill, so it's adding extra distance that way. I'm throwing an Opto Ballista Pro. Um, I get off a great shot. It's actually turning just a little bit early from what I wanted it. And I wound up clipping that tree that's standing right next to the trash can that you see right there and it bounced me back to the right uh, to the left um, i put my camera off on the side this way so you can see a little bit more of the hole in my throw i'm trying to throw a criminal on a flex line to get that up and i never ever got the flex on it at all i just kind of buried it into the grass so i skipped off onto the left hand side i am just into the edge of the rough uh, going with my Cenus, going on a high hyzer line. You can see that off into the sky. I just kind of wanted to crash the pine tree. Um, crashing either pine tree on the left or the right hand side will leave you about a 25 foot putt. So I pretty much did that. Um, I ended up catching this pine tree, so not the first ones. I caught the backside one. And it left me, I want to say, about 22 feet away. Um, just had to find my stance that I wanted. So unfortunately taking another four there, which Udisc says is a uh, par, we call it a bogey, you know, whatever. Hole 12, it's 356 feet. I'm going with my gold line fuse. The basket is slightly off on the right hand side, so I'm looking to do kind of a hyzer flip to flat and then have it bend over. Unfortunately, I threw it a little too flat and a little late. Um, got a great release off of it, just not quite the line that I wanted. So I'm tucked probably about 50, 55 feet, um, maybe 60 off on this right hand side. Looking at a downhill putt through the trees. Looking to do it for the slow mez. So close. Just off the front of the cage. I'm thinking maybe two or three inches tops. And I would have had that cashed in. So unfortunately taking a disappointing par um, even with that putt I was in a pretty good position I probably should have had that putt terrible dismount by the way moving on to hole 13 it's 273 feet um, it looks like a hyzer shot it is not you actually kind of want to go straight with a very very slight fade um, so I'm throwing a gold line mercy my goal is to get it around on that right side of those very middle trees and just a slight fade unfortunately it faded just a little early and I caught the trees it did bump me forward though which gave me a little bit of a look um, it was about this time that I realized my phone was actually dying um, it was about Oh, I want to say it was about 30 degrees outside, maybe 33 degrees outside, somewhere in there. So the cold air was kind of sapping my, my phone battery. Um, 
just off the top of the cage or top of the basket there. Another good run, just not quite cashing in. So I'm kind of playing a little bit quicker on these next holes, um, and my lines just aren't 100% clean. Just wanted to make, try to get through as much as I could. Hole 14, throwing an opto justice on this 215 foot hole, looking for the forehand to hit the ground about where that big dark tree is on the left hand side and skip it towards the basket. I'm a little early, I'm a little soft. Um, I got lucky and I didn't really flare. I kind of like ran along the ground, um, put me inside. Inside circle one, um, looking at probably about a 25 footer though. Um, clean shot, nothing around me. Boom, cashed in. So I'll take that. That was, that was kind of a lucky birdie. Um, normally with that shot being like that way, I would have found myself down the slope and probably off on the edge of the uh, trees. Both 15, 183 feet, going with the justice again. It's just kind of a spike stall forehand hyzer. Um, it's not far. You don't have to put a lot on it. You just want to kind of get it up in the air. Um, you want to go high and tight. If you're running it, if you just kind of going for placement, you want to be a little bit more outside. I gave it a run, a little bit on the back side of the basket, probably only about eight feet away, 10 feet away. Don't know how close it was. I wish I would have had my phone down there filming my shot instead of back on the tee pad. Hole 16, 272 feet. Um, the basket is actually through the little V gap that the trees make on that slight left hand side. So I am going with a criminal on this big spike hyzer angle, trying to bring it in between those two trees. I went a little too wide, but the angle was good. So I found myself getting around those that pine tree on the right hand side and set up here for uh, probably about a 27 footer. Cash that one in. So I was on a nice little birdie streak and unfortunately it was at this time that my phone decided it was going to die. So I did not get myself playing hole 17 or hole 18. Um, as you see here on the scorecards, um, I took an all right three on hole 17. Um, took a two on hole 18, um, found myself in a really nice position, had a great drive with my fuse. Um, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I did an all right job commentating on my very first one. Uh, if you could, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I look to be trying to do a lot more stuff this year and putting out a little bit more content and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. A big thank you to Latitude 64, Team 64, Gone Disking, the Heiser Knots, Celestial Discs. Keep on throwing, guys. Bye.